In this video, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the air of a hydraulic system, and that's all I'm going to talk about. I believe there's a bit of confusion. I had a hard time um, looking online or resources to give me an exact explanation over the air over hydraulic system. I understood how it worked, but I didn't understand how the emergency brakes worked on that system. So this is should not be confused with air brakes. It does not have air brakes. It has hydraulically um, has hydraulic drum brakes, and the hydraulics put pressure to cylinders in the drums and um, they spread out the pads and that is what stops this vehicle, this um, trailer. So it has a master cylinder just like any vehicle you would drive and this has a, this is your master cylinder right here, this is your brake air chamber and uh, this air chamber is what uh, converts the um, the air into uh, you know mechanical energy which goes into the hydraulics. It puts pressure onto the hydraulics which then put pressure onto these drums inside uh, here. So what you have is a service air glad hand. This is your emergency air glad hand. This is your reservoir tank right here. And the air reservoir, it stores up the air pressure of 60 psi minimum and it's to operate the um, the emergency air system. So, you have your service air, which goes into here, and this is called your relay. This is your relay valve. It controls the brake system, and based on the air pressure signal received, it will um, use the air from this glad hand for the service brakes on normal use. If this air is no longer supplied through this glad hand, then the air from the reservoir tank will immediately go into this relay. The relay will go here to the... Um, to the master cylinder and then it'll apply pressure to the brakes and the trailer will stop. The interesting thing about this, unlike air brake systems where they have a um, cylinder which stops each wheel and so you cannot move, is you can release the air from this tank right here and you can freely move the trailer. So if anybody's wondering if you would like to buy one of these at auction, you can and you can drive them off as long as the drums aren't locked um, that these hand brakes, the parking brakes, are released this one's on right now you can release them and the air pressure is off this tank right here I hope that explains air of a hydraulic system uh, a little bit better I'm no pro at this um, at, at knowing air of a hydraulic systems but uh, that's what I learned and I just drove this trailer four hours I had no issues I didn't have any brakes uh, on it the trailer weighs a little over 2,000 pounds but I was pulling with the F-250 and I didn't have any problems with the brake system on the F-250 F-250 has a, a good large robust uh, brake system and uh, you can see right here here's some weight capacities there's your empty weight right there. It gives you a 5,000 pound um, payload. Anyways, I hope that helps everyone. And um, you can check out some of the other videos. There's a few other things in there um, flipping around the Lunat ring and whatnot. Thank you.